Anaplast is one of the new compounds that can target inflammasome activation. It's a small molecule that binds something called NLRP3. It's a small uh, molecule that is part of a complex called NLRP3 complex. What we believe, what people have shown in human and animal studies, is that this complex is in activating the microglia, and by activating the microglia, induce neurodegeneration. So senoflast, by binding the NLRP3, will inhibit the, the creation of the complex and then eventually reduce the neurodegeneration and delay the progression of, of the symptoms of the patients. We have data in humans with Parkinson's disease and other disorders where we saw that there is an increase of the inflammasome activation in the blood, in the CSF. This has also been published by other groups. And the higher is the inflammation, higher the level of a protein called interleukin 1 beta, longer and faster will be the, the progression of the, of the disease. So we think that by inhibiting NLRP3, we would reduce the cytokine storm and activations of the inflammasome, and this would reduce the neurodegeneration over time. We are testing now in phase one if the drug Senoflast goes into the brain and is active on the microglia by using an innovative PET tracer called the DPA714 that measures the TSPO, that is a protein expressed in the mitochondria of the, of the microglia. And uh, we aim to see if a Senoflast will be able to reduce the density of the microglia by inhibiting the NLAP3 complex.